Love those blooming onions at the restaurant? You can make them at home too. This recipe for blooming onion and dipping sauce was submitted by All Recipes member Jackie Smith. With his zesty sauce, Jackie says, it gets your party going any day. We'll start by making the dipping sauce. In a medium bowl with half a cup of mayonnaise, add one tablespoon of ketchup, two tablespoons of cream style horseradish sauce, a third of a teaspoon of paprika, a dash of cayenne pepper, a quarter teaspoon of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of dried oregano, and a pinch of ground black pepper. Mix it all together. Cover it and store it in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve the blooming onion. Now we'll make the batter for the onion. In a medium bowl, add one cup of milk and an egg and beat them together. To a separate bowl with one cup of flour, add one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, a third of a teaspoon of dried oregano, an eighth of a teaspoon of dried thyme, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cumin. Mix them together well. Set the dry ingredients aside. Ever wonder how they get the onion to bloom? Here's how. Slice one inch off the top of a large sweet onion and remove the papery skin. At the root end, trim off the roots, leaving the round core intact. This will help keep the onion together while it's frying. Use a thin knife or a corer to cut a core out of the middle of the onion that's one inch in diameter. Again, leave the very bottom of the root end intact. Now, use a very sharp, large knife to slice through the center of the onion to about three-fourths of the way down. Turn the onion 90 degrees and slice it again, creating an X with the first slices. Keep slicing the sections in half very carefully until you've made 16 cuts. The last eight cuts will be difficult because the petals get thinner and thinner. Don't go down to the bottom of the onion with any of the cuts. Only go three-quarters of the way down. Open up the petals of the onion with your finger. To help keep them open, you can drop the onion in boiling water for one minute, then plunge it into ice water to stop the cooking. Now you're ready to bread the onion. Dip the onion into the milk mixture, then into the flour mixture, making sure it gets a generous coat. Separate the petals and sprinkle more of the seasoned flour into the nooks and crannies of the onion so it's well coated. Now give the onion a double dip, again in the milk mixture, and again in the dry ingredients, sprinkling it on to ensure a generous coating. Heat enough vegetable oil in a deep fryer or a deep pot to completely cover the onion. When the oil reaches 350 degrees, add the onion carefully to the oil, cut side up. Fry it until it's golden brown, about 10 minutes. Now remove the onion from the oil and let it drain on a rack or on paper towels. Serve it with the sauce in a small container in the center of the onion. All Recipes member Cloudy Girl rates this blooming onion and dipping sauce five stars, saying, it's so much fun to serve. Great for football season. Once you start eating them, you can't stop. And then, there's no room left for a meal.